Vind je mijn video's leuk? Help me mijn doel te bereiken. 20.000 volgers op YouTube. 20.000 volgers op TikTok. 2020 en 2020. Subscribe, please! <laughs> Hi, welcome to Yovi's home. I post new videos every Tuesday and sometimes Thursday. Today's video is a little bit different than the typical Yovi's home video, and that is because it is a compilation. As you know, or you might know, I've been following a Dutch course at ABC Dutch for five weeks. And during those five weeks, I made a video, at least one video every day about my learning Dutch journey. And some of them are funny. Some of them are more, you know, dealing with challenges or talking about what I find hard. So Dan had this great idea to make a compilation of the TikToks because we know that not everyone is on TikTok. And if you follow me on Instagram only, not all of my TikToks make it to Instagram. So we thought it would be fun anyway to share this video here. We hope that you guys enjoy the journey. And yeah, I, I'm super excited about this video and I hope you guys like it too. So if that sounds good to you, why don't you come on in, kick off your shoes and stay a while. I'm really glad you're here. Hi, I'm Yovi. I'm an American who's been living in the Netherlands for 10 years. A long time without knowing to speak Dutch. Well, today I officially start my Dutch lessons. I'm doing an intensive course every day for five weeks in the city center at ABC Dutch. This is my walk from the parking garage to my school. Hey, I made it and I'm ready to learn. Follow along for my journey. I'll be sharing something every day. Here's what I learned in Dutch class today. So this is how you say the number one. It is pronounced ain. But when you wanna say a house, you would write like this, but pronounce it un. But when you wanna say one house, you write it like this, and then you pronounce it ain. What? Okay, so when you are saying one something, like ain house, you would have the accents. But if you were just writing out the numbers, like one, two, three, four, ain, twee, three, vier, look. Ain. No accents. Here's what I learned in Dutch class today. So today it's an idiom or an expression, and it is the cat out the bone kijke. It literally means he is watching the cat in the tree. However, what it means is that it's somebody who is watching the cat in the tree and not taking action. So it's somebody that is hesitating. To use this in a sentence, you can say, hij kijkt de cat out the bone. So I don't have many people I can practice Dutch with, um, so I'm going to use the internet. So welcome to my Yoda Dutch, and please feel free to correct me. Vandaag is de verjaardag van mijn zoon. Hij heeft zes jaar vandaag. Is dit goed of niet goed? Help! Hoi allemaal. Dit is dag drie van mijn inburgeringse cursus. <laughs> en ik probeer spreek alleen in Nederlands vandaag. Deze woorden ik vind moeilijk in Nederlands. Because. Um, they zijn <laughs> the same in English. <laughs> De woord is the word will and what and doctor is not doctor. <laughs> ik vind het moeilijk um, because they are so similar to the English words and then I feel like I'm switching from English to Dutch. Okay, sorry, I could not succeed all in Dutch today. Okay, dag vier met mijn inburgeringsecursus. Een beetje grammatica vandaag. Ik ga vanmiddag winkelen. Vanmiddag ga ik winkelen. Ga ik vandaag winkelen? Notice how the verb changes place. Hoe maak je pluralis in het Nederlands? I tried to film this video in Dutch, but I don't have enough of the language skills to do it. So let's just focus on the rules today and I will speak in English. So in most cases, 
you will just add an en to a word to make it plural. Der, derm. But if the word ends with the letter e, then you just add an s to make it plural. Birche, birches. But if it ends in one of the other vowels, a, i, o, u, or y, then you need to add an apostrophe s, which is like making a glitch in my English brain. <laughs> And that is the pluralis regelt. In rondleiding door mijn begonnen grond. Dit huis heeft een groot woonkamer met open keuken. In de keuken staat een keuken island met vier barstoelen. Ik vind het leuk wanneer de zon komt binnen thuis. In een hoek staat onze grote kerstboom. Een kwart van de woonkamer is de speelgedeeld van ons kinderen. Nu heb ik geen tijd voor opruimen, sorry. Vertel mij over jouw huis. Hoi, ik ben Jovi. Willen jullie Nederlandse verben oefenen met mij? Ik heb vijf Nederlandse les gedaan. De verben zijn een beetje moeilijk voor mij. Ik schrijf alles versies, versions. Some are more difficult for me than others, but this really helps. Volg me for me. I make a new video every day. Here's what I learned in Dutch class today. By the way, this is only my sixth class, so be nice. I learned the verb to cry, which in Dutch is huilen. Now, as an English speaker with small children, I love this word because I just imagine them. Ah! Toilets. They really are the most important room of the house. Here's why. First, it's where you hang your birthday calendar, so you can think of your friends every morning when you're having your daily. Second, it's where you hang your Tegelweisheit. These are little ceramic tiles with some wonderful wisdom, such as Oost, West, Thuis, West. Also, van het concert de levens krijgt niemand een program. Drop this video a like if you thought I was going to talk about the poop shelf. I've had six Dutch classes so far, and there's one thing that I just can't get my head around. It's the verb hate. You use this to introduce yourself, so I would say, Ik hate Jovana. But in my English brain, it just feels like I'm saying I hate myself, which, mm. Ik ben een beetje sick deze week, en ik kan niet naar de Nederlandse school gaan. Dit is mijn setup aan thuis. Woohoo! Do you like hockey? Depending on whether you're speaking to an American or a Dutchie, you might be asking two different things. Today in Dutch class, I found out that when you ask a Dutch person about hockey, they think of this. Meanwhile, Americans would think of this. So if you wanted to ask an American about the hockey that is played in the Netherlands, you would have to ask them about field hockey. And meanwhile, if you want to ask a Dutch person about the hockey that is played in the United States or in Canada, you would have to ask them about ice hockey. How interesting these small cultural differences. How to flirt with a Dutch person. Echt belangrijk, hein? Two things we learned in Dutch school today. Come as here, you lekkere ding. Wow, what a stuck. Tell me more in the comments, I love it. Today in Dutch class, we learn how to tell time. For a country that is so organized and logical, the way you tell time is not. I literally felt like I needed an algebra lesson before I could tell time in Dutch. What? What? You want to know the difference between studying Dutch and studying English? Because the Dutch are so open, they really teach you to speak the way that they speak here. It means you have words like shit and verdomd in your schoolwork. Welcome by my first day in my life vlog in the Netherlands. I can alleen the tegenwoordigheid. In the ochtends ben ik echt bezet. My day begins om 5 uur. Eerst maak ik me klaar en dan help ik mijn kinderen en hondje. Ik maak hun ontbijt en lunch. Daarna doe ik een beetje thuiswerk. Als ik tijd heb, ik doe mijn social media work. Om half negen ga ik naar de Putterspeelzaal en dan ga ik naar ABC Dutch. Na school doe ik boodschappen. Smiddags ben ik met mijn kinderen off camera. Today in Dutch school, my brain went through some serious mental Olympics. We learned the hoofdzin plus hoofdzin, hoofdzin plus bijzin, and bijzin plus hoofdzin structure. Ik ga slapen, want ik ben moe. Ik ga slapen, omdat ik moe ben. Omdat ik moe ben, ga ik slapen. I know that it's going to get easier with practice, but 
today was a tough day. Hey there, I think you mean how come my kids speak fluent Dutch when I don't? And that is because they both went to Dutch speaking Kinderopvang. And we specifically put them in that and not in English speaking Kinderopvang because we wanted them to learn Dutch. So there you go. I think what's so hard is like, okay, you remember the sentence structure, but then you also have to remember the all the Dutch words, like the translation. So you're trying to translate and do the proper grammar at the same time. And it's just like, whew, shit's getting real, real. Welcome by my Nederlandse taalschool. Ik ben hier drie uren per dag, vijf dagen per week. In vijf weken, ik heb de niveau A2. Dit is de coronaproof klaskamer. Elke dag, we hebben nieuwe thema's, vocabulaire en grammatica. Wat denken jullie bij mijn school? Schrijf de comment of antwoord in het Nederlands, alsjeblieft. Dankjewel en volg mij voor meer! Here's how I made my Dutch teacher laugh today. We were learning about injuries and body parts and going to the doctor, stuff like that. So the character in this story had a dikke ankle, a thick ankle, or a swollen ankle. So I wanted to know if you could use the word dikke to describe anything that might be swollen. So I asked, can you say something like, ik heb een dikke oog, like a, a swollen eye. And then I was like, and maybe you can have a dikke finger. This is when my teacher started laughing because dikke finger means this in Dutch and not swollen finger. I want to share a Dutch success story. As you might know, I've been taking Dutch classes now for three weeks, but I lived here for 10 years. And yesterday and today, for the first time, I was able to interact with Dutch people entirely in Dutch. The first was at the trash center and then today at the bakery. They were definitely small interactions, nothing super intensive with the language, but gosh, it just felt so good to be able to do it. It really was the first time that instead of just getting scared and switching to English, I really tried to persevere and use different Dutch words or repeat if I didn't understand something. So for those of you who are also trying to learn Dutch and are maybe embarrassed or ashamed to use it, I really encourage you to just try and don't give in to the ease of just swapping to English as soon as you want. Studying Dutch for three weeks already. Exams coming up soon, I've gotta be ready. Speaking and listening, reading and writing. I feel okay, but one thing is frightening. The words and head words, they drive me insane. How the heck will they get into my brain? Gonna try with this little song. I would love it if you sing along. The agenda, the auto, the banana and your nom. The plots, the zone, the bank and the dach. These are some of the words for the exam. Hoi, ik ben Jovi and Days Awake is my third awake by the Inbergingse Curses. Elke dag vind ik een beetje moeilijker dan de vorige. Mijn grootste probleem is dat ik geen tijd heb voor grammatica. De hoofdzin bijzin maken heeft mijn hoofdpijn. Ik ken de regels, maar vaak raak ik het in de war. Hopelijk wordt het gemakkelijker. Yes, both of them speak Dutch, but neither one of them will talk to me in Dutch because... I'm not the one that they're used to speaking in Dutch with, you know? So they do it at school and in Petrus Belzal, but at home with Mama, English and Serbian only. A real conversation I had with my Dutch teacher. Ik ben moe means I'm tired. Oh, that's what an American cow says. Haha, <laughs> a Dutch cow says boo. That's what an American ghost says. A Dutch ghost also says boo. Does a Dutch cow ghost say boo boo? Mistakes I made while learning Dutch part... Who the hell knows? So today while we were learning about like health and going to the doctor, things like that, the words that you use, we came across this. Let me show you. What is er met sein enkel an der hand? So I know what enkel is, that's ankle. But what is enkel an der hand? So using my Dutch logic, I figure enkel an der hand means wrist. Because if you call them handschoene, which is gloves, then it totally makes sense that your hands have ankles too except that it's dead wrong. And all it means is, how's your ankle doing? <laughs>
Vandaag was lijst nummer 17. 17. Um, ja, ik volg een intensief inburgeringsakkoord met de school elke dag voor vijf weken. Hi, I'm Jovi. I'm an American living in and loving the Netherlands. And I'm currently on a journey to learn Dutch. I'm attending an intensive inburgeringsakkoord at ABC Dutch in The Hague and I love it. But intensive means intensive, and some days are just really hard. Today was one of those days where my brain just did not want to cooperate no matter how hard I tried. But I look forward to trying again tomorrow. The biggest thing that we do in class is talk to each other. So we definitely, definitely practice. Um, and it also helps with like overcoming shyness because you're talking to people who are as good or bad as you are, you know, same level. So definitely recommend. You guys, I was today years old when I found out what the OV stands for in the OV chip card. All the time I've lived here, I thought it was like a company, like R-E-T or like N-S. But it's not. It stands for Open Bar for Four or Public Transport. I was today years old when I learned that boodschap can mean more than one thing in Dutch. So I've always heard it as like boodschappen doen or like going shopping for groceries. Got it. Used it. Fine. No worries. But boodschap also means to give somebody a message. Give them a message that is not related to groceries. Why you gotta be so complicated? And that was my belangrijk boodschap for Juli. <laughs> Boris, what is the third betekenis van boodschap? Goeie vraag, Jovi. Als je naar het toilet gaat, heb je twee boodschappen. Een kleine boodschap. En een grote boodschap. Wat denk jij? Wat is het verschil? Boodschap op het toilet? Wat? Today in Dutch class I discovered a new favorite word. The nasvleugels. It means nostrils, but it literally translates into nose wings. Can you make your nose wings fly? Your nasvleugels. <laughs> Hoi, ik ben Jovi. Dit weekend heb ik de grammatica van de afgelopen vier weken herhaald. Morgen begint mijn laatste week Nederlandse les. Ik vond mijn les bij ABC Dutch echt leuk. Tussendoortje tijd! Ik hoop dat je een leuke weekend hebt gehad. Doei! Tot de volgende keer! Een nieuw van Dutch word today! Ongelooflijk. 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 It means unbelievable, but it just like takes your whole mouth. It takes all the space in your mouth to say it. I love it. Being a polyglot really helps me with learning Dutch. There are so many similarities between English and Dutch, and so that makes it definitely easier for learning. But here's a little twist. These are five words that are similar in Serbian and Dutch. First up, we have chirurg, which is surgeon in Serbian. Chirurg. 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 Same. Next up, we have hurricane, which in Dutch is orkan, and in Serbian, orkan. Boom! Then we have a bag, which in Dutch is in das, in Serbian, dasna. Close enough. Want to go to the movies? That's a bioscope in Serbian, bioscope in Dutch. Last up. You want to go get some library books? Then you go to the bibliotheek or biblioteca. Serbian for the win. What I learned about Dutch culture through my Dutch language lessons. So we know that the Dutch are quite direct in their speaking. And expats can find this a little bit off-putting sometimes. But did you know that there are all of these Dutch words that have no English translation that just make you so much friendlier when you're speaking? Using words like even, mar, of eens completely tr transforms the sentence and the way that you're speaking. So, ga zitten is quite a direct way of saying go sit down. But ga maar zitten is also a direct way of saying go sit down, but much friendlier. Amazing. Poof. Mind blown. I love it. So you want to know about my Dutch mistakes? This is one I am still struggling with and currently learning. So I keep saying overladen instead of geleden. So I keep referring to people being dead instead of like time. Whoops. A part tip redact. What? A part tip redact. Scaver. What are you talking? 
Ravidit's Cavern! Kashmirga! I, I, I can't hear you, man! I don't- I was- Hello, TikTok. I would like to file an official complaint about the Dutch language today. Just a little bit. We need to come up with a new word. And I'm hoping you guys are gonna help me with this. How old-fashioned can you be to still use the word housefrau to describe what moms do? Like the ones that are not working outside the home. Housefrau? Nay. We need a better word. House manager. House No. <laughs> House bitch. <laughs> no, but seriously, we need something to describe all of the work that moms do. The budgeting, the cooking, the cleaning, the, the taking care of the children, I mean, obviously. Um, the balancing of the budgets, the, the, the juggling of the agendas, and all that shit. Like, we are like the freaking house CEOs. That's what we need. We need a new name, not House Frau. Suggestions in the comments, please. Ik ben trots op mijnzelf. Wil je weten waarom? Kom, kijk eens. Ik heb mijn ABC Dutch certificaat met A2 niveau. And now I'm ready for the Inbergings exam. And I'm ready for the exams around the end of December. Woo!